everybody and welcome to Experience Ships. My name is Cecilia and I'm the content creator and program director over here. And I'm so excited today because I've invited one of our awesome partners called Lead Abroad. Uh, so Lead Abroad offers study abroad experiences but also professional experiences abroad. And together with them, we have actually developed a program that is completely remote. And the cool part about this program is that it doesn't really matter what you're studying. You can just study uh, engineering, biology, hospitality, um, PR, marketing. It doesn't really matter. And you can still uh, gain professional experience from this program. And so I'm going to invite Kelsey now and we're going to talk more about Lead Abroad and also about this experience. So stay tuned. Hello, Kelsey. Hello. I'm so excited to virtually be hanging out with you right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Me too. I'm so happy you're here. Thank you for coming. Of course. I'm excited. You know, it's so hard for me to like walk all the way over from the dining room over here. So it's, it was a real, real commute to get here, but. <laughs> <laughs> Understood. <laughs> yeah, because you are, or you can, I guess, introduce yourself. Uh, we'll jump into that. Uh, right Absolutely. Away. Yeah. To. So my name is Kelsey Huffines. I am a student relationship manager and program director with Lead Abroad. So basically what that means is with Lead Abroad, our seasons are ever changing. And so during the summers, traditionally I'm a program director. So I'm the one that is like with the students abroad. So we'll be doing, I'm there for everything from what restaurant you should go to, if you're homesick, I'm moral support, teach some classes, disciplinarian, um, pretty much everything in one. And then during the year, I support students in the process of figuring out their programs. Because, I mean, you know, the world is such a big, beautiful place that students know they want to travel. It's just sometimes figuring out the best choice for you in this season. Um, people kind of need to verbally process, figure out what works for them. Um, and realize for a lot of people, they may not realize travel is even a possibility. So I'm there to kind of help people see the potential of travel within their own lives and different time and financial constraints as well. Yeah, for sure. And like all the different places you can go and what comes with those places as well. It's, Absolutely. Wow, you can't even imagine before you actually are there, but then it's great that they have you that can explain maybe a little bit about what they're expecting or what they mm -hmm. should be expecting. Absolutely. But, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but lead abroad. What is lead abroad? Oh, such a great question. Lead abroad is a study abroad company, but it is so much more than that. Our mission is to lead transformative experiences. So our goal, we're very values driven. We want to help students learn about themselves, learn about culture, meet incredible people, and like see that potential within themselves that only travel can provide. And for so many students, this is, for some of them, it's their first time out of the country. For others, they've traveled a ton with family, but maybe this is the first time by themselves. So we want to intersect and we recognize that travel is just like this amazing peach tree dish where when you're in there, you're away from who people tell you you're supposed to be. You're away from the expectations of home. Um, and it's such a great opportunity just to learn about yourself. Um, you're experiencing new cultures, developing amazing friendships. Our staff is there to be mentors and encouragers. You're learning a lot, whether it's like business or leadership, you know, depending on what the classes look like. Um, but in that Petri dish, having that combination of so many different things, we've created, we think a pretty good recipe that students will leave that experience transformed and feeling like just the best version of themselves. So we've been leading study abroad programs since 2008. So quite a few years now. Wow, 12 years. Yeah. Oh my God, congratulations on that. Thanks, I can't, I can't really take credit for the 2008 to 2014 part, but <laughs> it's been, it's been incredible to be a part of the team um pretty much since i graduated college yeah man wow it's uh it, 
it all sounds amazing and what you guys do uh also sounds uh amazing um <laughs> considering that like your business is all about travel and now obviously we cannot travel and um, how has that affected you um as a business yeah such a great question so i think what's so unique is and comforting to me at least is in this situation at first i feel like i i'm speaking entirely for myself at this point when everything first started happening it was just this like oh my goodness like what what's going on like it was almost just this like shock factor of like realizing my world is so based on travel and my heart is the type of heart that like i'm so used to being able to like go visit even in the u.s go to a different city to visit a friend you know drive someplace, hop on a plane, um, super fortunate that my job has allowed that. And so at first it was kind of surprising having to recognize that, but then that realization that we're all sort of in this together, um, it's not just affecting us. It's affecting the entire world. We're all in this together. Um, someone told me the other day, it was like that realization that this is probably one of the biggest stances of like global solidarity we're ever going to see because it's actually affecting everyone. Um, so then when it, we started realizing what that looks like for our company, for us, our student safety is hands down the number one most important thing. Um, before the program, during the program, every single procedure we have in place, every vendor we're partnered with, um, safety is the number one thing. And so we made the decision a few weeks ago now um, to cancel our programs for the first half of the summer um technically at this point we haven't officially canceled programs towards the end of the summer because we're with recommendations of the cdc world health organization we're taking things as they come but that was the first time since in the entire history of lead abroad that we've had to cancel a program and so on one end it was like it was such a it was such a just heart heart tough conversation of like the realization that like we work so hard during the year to create these opportunities for students and we're talking to them. That's the unique part about Lead Abroad is when you go on a trip with us, you've probably met me in person. You've probably talked to one of my coworkers. We've probably texted with your parents. We follow you on social media. We know your birthday and we're bringing candles abroad. Like we're, yeah, a, very, yeah. Yeah, we're a very personal company. And so we were so excited about traveling with these students. I was gonna be going to Cape Town, South Africa. And so, I was excited about my students. I was excited about the community. We we're going to be there. So on one side, it's really hard because I was so excited about that opportunity. And so it was tough kind of coming to that realization. But on the same side, it's just the safety component and recognizing that, like I said earlier, like we're all in this together and this is not the right time to be traveling. Um, we have to do our piece. We have to keep our students safe. Um, so on the, on the flip side, even if it was like tough to have that realization, it was also kind of easy knowing that like safety was such an important thing um, that that hands down decided the decision for us. Yeah, and and like that's you know students come first, and that's it. And yeah. uh, it's just unfortunate that the travel industry is getting hit so hard, obviously. But <sighs> like we all have good faith and we will all bounce back from this hopefully and yeah. like the companies nowadays it's all about pivoting and you know like coming up with yeah. new ideas and like how can we do this and um and yeah, yeah so um considering that you guys won't be traveling for the first half at least of the summer um mm -hmm. what will you be doing will you be staying in the in the u.s yeah so we are all working from our houses. This is my, we, I just moved. So I look like I'm in this like really boring, <laughs> you know, no, like isolation room or something. Um, there will be, I'll put pictures here eventually now that this is my home office. Um, but we're all, we're all staying home. We, yeah. um, I think a really cool, something that's really cool coming out of this is through the isolation and through the pivoting, a lot of 
creative and innovative energy has just been like pulsing through our company. Um, we're a small company. I've always said, I feel like I'm working at a startup, even if we've been around for 12 years. I was because, gonna ask you, like how many are you in total at Lead Abroad? So 11, technically, one of us just went on maternity leave. Our um, director of international programming just went on maternity leave. So for, for the next three months or so, there's 10 of us. So it kind of has that like, startup yeah, small team yeah it's yeah. i mean every one of them was at my wedding like i don't know many people that can say that about their entire company um so it's been cool it's been it's been exciting and so right now we're actually offering two opportunities uh the first of course is in partner with experience ships and we are so freaking excited about it um being able to offer students the opportunity to learn such important professional skills during the season where so many of our students, they had you know, jobs lined up, they had internships lined up, they had study abroads lined up, and now everyone's kind of like at home, what could we do to make the most of this time? Like what can we do to make sure that you're interrupting boredom with opportunity? Like what can we do to provide value there? And so with experience ships, the opportunity for students to work on their branding and storytelling to work on to learn about visual communication to figure out what influencer strategy is and to figure out what like their own personal brand is like while you're sitting here with your thoughts and you're by yourself being able to learn these seriously important skills and pitch yourself as a professional to all of these companies is invaluable in my opinion um, those professional skills you don't usually get in any sort of internship experience and then be able to use those with three international companies. Like, yeah. So it's really cool. We're really excited about that partnership with you guys. We are too. Um, it's been awesome developing this uh, with you. And so this is going live in a week and a half. 18th of May is the first yeah. day. Um, yeah. The soon. The soon, yeah. <laughs> um, <laughs> But yeah, so now like we have applicants coming in and you know, like people signing up. So it's, it's so great to see this, this uh, experience coming to life, even Absolutely. though it's all online. Um, mm -hmm. It's still, you know, real people, real businesses, and it's still gonna be a real experience, even though we can't travel the world. Be in person, yeah, even though we're not in those different locations. It was, we had a team meeting this morning and it was such a cool conversation because normally on our programs, there's a few days before the students arrive where you're going through your to-do list. You're, you know, talking to the local doctors to make sure you know the connections. You're trying restaurants, which is, you know, very tough work we have to do to make sure we know the best restaurants in town, of course. But there's just like this energy that's like this pre-program excitement. And we were talking today, and even though we're in this world where we're not abroad we're not waiting for students to get off a plane we still have that exact same excitement because we know the potential that's going to come out of this program we know the students same sort of thing it is a transformative experience we know the students are going to grow into who they are as a person into a professional we know they're going to walk away with mentors from around the world yeah. and i think it's knowing that we're going to be able to provide and help them learn a lot of skills that in this uncertain world are really going to leave them better off than they were before. I think it's like, I feel very privileged to be a part of this experience. And so we all still have that like pre-program excitement and jitters. Like we know the students who are applying, we know their names, we know where they're from. We still know their birthdays. Like we still have that personal connection to them. Um, so even if we're not abroad, it's still that same sort of excitement on our side. Yeah, that's really cool. And um, I can really tell. <laughs> I'm glad. I'm, I know. I'm like, this is not coffee. This is like genuine program excitement right now. <laughs> yeah. And like, we're so excited too. We were on a call with um, the coaches um, mm -hmm. today and just going through everything and prepping and planning. And, and they are also so excited. Um, so we were going to originally run the program in Barcelona, obviously. Yeah. Um, yeah. But instead, we have at least two coaches that are from Barcelona that are going to be running. Uh, That's so cool. And it's going to be cool to still get that, like, cultural aspect. Like, being able to 
have our American students talk to your team and your coaches and ask like, well, what's life like in Barcelona right now? Like, what is life for you in Sweden right now? Like being able to learn exactly. still about the different cultures is going to still bring that cultural aspect to our students. Definitely. Yeah. Yeah. And that's something that we also thought about when we were um, assigning coaches um, mm -hmm. this program, uh, because usually it's our core team that is running uh, these programs, but we decided not to just because of to to bring that extra layer. Uh, it's gonna be so cool. Yeah, it's gonna be great. Yeah. Um, but um, with uh, Lead Abroad, usually, what are the like top destinations that people go to? Ooh, such a good question. So. It's hard to say if there's like a number one top. Traditionally, one of our most popular programs is the program in Cape Town, South Africa, mm -hmm. because a lot of students, if they've been to Europe before, are really excited about a place that's a little bit different. Yeah. So in Cape Town, there's really unique service and volunteer opportunities. There's it's the adventure capital of the world. So students can go like shark cage diving, walking with elephants, like bungee jumping, really crazy cool things there. Um, but all of our locations offer something a little bit different. So like we have a program in Costa Rica that's entirely focused for medical based students because there's medical opportunities there. Mm. So that one's really cool because it's very different than the adventure and leadership one would find in Cape Town or in Greece. Yeah. And then on the flip side, we have programs in Paris, Rome, and Barcelona, Barcelona, um, practicing my, my very limited Spanish there. Um, <laughs> when I was there, that's the one thing I, I learned is the proper pronunciation of Barcelona. Um, but those programs are so cool because the classes are only Monday through Thursday. And the pro experience, the internship in Barcelona, you get off earlier on Fridays. So students still have the opportunity to like travel around Europe, which for some students, the opportunity to see like in the course of a five week scene, like five different, entirely different cultures, different languages, different histories, like that is super appealing to a lot of students as well. So it kind of depends like what the students is interested in. If they're like the adrenaline junkie, ready to like scare their family every single day with like a new <laughs> crazy adventure. Like, yeah, I was definitely that person when I was in school. I would like call my mom and tell her I was going skydiving five hours before I did. Um, but you know, there's a place for you there. Or if you're more interested in service opportunities, you know, looking at our programs in Greece or Costa Rica or Cape Town, or if you want to explore as much of Europe as possible, that pro Barcelona and the GO programs are a really cool chance to do all of that. Um, so it's a total cop-out answer to the, your question about the most popular, but That's it's hard. just because it just depends what who the student is and what they're excited about. Yeah, now we also got an overview of what you guys offer in the different yeah. parts of the world, which is great. Yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Lots of lots of different places and lots of um really incredible cities and it's it's been really cool to see how each location attracts some personalities of students and how the culture of each location uh, makes an impression on students in different ways. It's like one of my cool, favorite parts about my job is hearing the stories that come out of each summer. Yeah, for sure. Like I was around for the Barcelona program uh, last summer and I was like, when you, you came back on Monday, I was like, yeah, we went to Marrakesh. Yeah, we went to Prague. Yeah, we went to Paris. I was like, what, wait, what? <laughs> I thought like, I'm laying in my bed all weekend. <laughs> I know, I know. And it's funny too, because as program directors, we, so we stay in the city all weekend. Um, again, safety is number one priority. So we're there as the touch point being present for students. But it's so funny. So my, I love, love having students send me like a selfie check-in. Be like, okay, just want to make sure all is going well. I'm getting like selfies in front of the Eiffel Tower. I'm getting like a picture of them skydiving in Switzerland, like the baths in Budapest. And I'm like, my friends back home are probably just watching watching a movie, going on a walk, and here we are with students like jet setting all over the place. It's really, it's a fun energy to be around when we're on staff for sure. Yeah, yeah, for sure, definitely. Yeah, but I was like, I was like, where do you find this energy? I was like, I can tell I'm a little bit older than you guys. 
<laughs> yeah. I, I remember, so I, I was a program director right away when I got hired at Theta Broad. And so I've been, I've been a program director, gosh, it's like five years now. So I've done this for a while and I can definitely tell when I first started, I was up until like 2 a.m. having live chats with students, like hanging out, just bonding. And now it's like 1130 and we're just finishing dinner because you eat a little bit later in, you know, some <laughs> cities. And so dinner's finishing. I'm like, oh, I would really love to stay and like have these deep chats. But that's why you hire young interns and assistants to be uh -huh. the one uh -huh. mentors because I've definitely felt myself getting a little bit older over the past few years. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's fun now. Yeah. Good people around. But like since we can't travel this summer, mm -hmm. how can we keep exploring the world? Mm -hmm. What do you think? Such a good question. I feel like for me, there's a few things I've tried to do a little bit more intentionally. And I think those that love travel and those that are involved in the travel industry, like I mentioned earlier, it's just like, it's a piece of my heart at this point. I am not used to not being able to leave my house. And so some things that I did right away is I have actually started planning trips, which sounds a little different, but I created a giant Google doc. And basically I just started making lists of all of these places I want to go to one day. And then I was researching hotels. I was watching YouTube videos about cool hikes. I was looking up opportunities to give back in the different communities and basically just like making these like epic adventures that one day I'll be able to take. And so for me, I'm such an action driven person. I'm, I'm totally type A. I am, I have an inclination towards action. Um, when something comes to me, I'm the type of person to make the plan within 24 hours. Yeah. So having something put in place, even if I can't go do it, has given me so much more excitement about what's to come and seeing the list of places that I will go one day and sharing these with friends and saying, hey, you know, in 10 years, do you want to come to Thailand with me? Like, I'd love to go back to this one place. And I think sharing that joy with others and then feeling like I'm tangibly doing something myself has been just such an encouragement. And then on the flip side, now that we're able to, you know, go get takeout from restaurants and kind of like take drives in your area a little bit more. I've been a bit more intentional about exploring my own town. I mean, I, I moved here in October. I moved to a different part of Atlanta in October. And there's so many local restaurants I haven't been to because I was going to my old favorites, you know, 15, 20 minute drive away. And so getting takeout restaurant, getting takeout from restaurants near me and driving through parks and through neighborhoods that I didn't know existed has kind of ignited that sense of adventure and a little bit of that wanderlust that I usually experience when I'm abroad. I've been able to identify ways to bring those same adventures back home, that feeling of trying a new restaurant, that feeling of getting lost, just wandering or driving where you are. Um, so bringing some of those things I love doing abroad into my own town has definitely given me a lot of comfort as well because I felt that same sort of excitement that usually bubbles up in me before a big trip. Wow, that's a, some really great advice or tips. Uh, now I'm thinking, I was like, I need to do a spreadsheet. I need to, <laughs> I need to make I, it. Spreadsheets are not for everybody. I completely respect that. I just, that's how my brain works best is right. I have to have everything written down. I'm such a visual person. Yeah. And it got so fun though, because then I would go down a, like a rabbit hole of watching some YouTuber in Dubai doing these crazy adventures. And I'm like, oh yeah, I want to go skydiving in Dubai. Okay, put that video on my list. Like you see all of the adventures that are going out there. And so seeing this like massive list of the things that one day will excite me, um, it's been really cool just to like scroll through it and get reminded there's a whole world out there. It's still going to be there when this finishes. It's just going to be a little bit longer than I initially thought when I will be out there. Exactly. Like we have more time to save and you know, exactly. for, for our funds to go traveling when mm -hmm. all this is over. So we, we only see opportunities. Um, Absolutely. I think you and I are both very, have you ever taken any sort of like strengths or personality test or anything? Yeah. 
is positivity one of your like top uh, yeah I'd say like I haven't done those where you get I, I like I'm a green like with the colors I've oh done. yeah 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 okay yeah. I've done that one before too I think I was blue is that right oh I think blue is is pretty analytic I see this is the thing I need to go back and read it I, and yeah. I think that might be where my like list making comes from. Oh yeah, yeah, um, yeah, yeah for yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, okay, <laughs> I always positivity is like always up here. So when all my friends have been stressed and all of this, they just call me and they're like, "How's it going, Kelsey?" I'm like, "We're gonna be great one day." Like, don't you worry, guys. That's totally oh, yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I love it. I love talking with you, Cece. <laughs> oh, me too. Me too. And we'll talk more. And yes. like, we're just going to change medium. Absolutely. Yeah. It'd be um, so much fun. Yeah. And I think we're running a bit late. So maybe we should wrap this one up. That's perfect. We'll, we'll pivot. And then you'll become the one getting interviewed. And I will be the one interviewing. <laughs> well, this has been, it's been definitely fun talking about travel and experience ships and just the opportunities you guys present to students especially in this world where we're a little bit more home based in my mind, I think it just, it gives them even more of the world. Like it gives them so many more tools to get out there and chase what they want to do. Um, so it's been really cool being able to like partner and come alongside you guys with this. Yeah, it's been amazing. Um, I'm super excited to, to, to launch this or it's launched already, but <laughs> get it, you know, get, get it started. started. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, well, thank you for this chat. Kelsey, and I'll see you in a couple of minutes on Instagram Live. I'll see you there. <laughs> okay. Bye, Cece. Bye. Bye. <laughs>